Hey guys, it's Stella. Welcome back to my channel. So I guess because I'm a flight attendant, I'm constantly getting asked by passengers on the plane or friends and family if what we see on television and the movies is accurate to what it's really like to be a flight attendant. So there's this new show that came out on Fox this year called LA to Vegas and it's basically about an airline crew and their passengers flying from Los Angeles to Vegas every weekend hoping to come back as big winners. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to react to this show and debunk it if it's true, accurate, or not at all. All right, so the show is starting off with this girl looking a hot mess, looking like me guys in my vlogs, <laughs> running late as usual. So here she is running through TSA. So one, she cuts in front of the line, which I don't think in reality would actually happen because I definitely think TSA would not allow that. <laughs> And then two, most of the time in major airports, like LAX, there is a separate crew line. So there'd be a line for crew uh, airline pilots and flight attendants to go through separate from the general public uh, security lines. All right, then we see here her whizzing through the gate and straight onto the jet bridge onto the plane. She passes through the gate agents, which would not happen in real life. In real life, flight attendants have to check in with the gate agent, verify their identity, check in to know that the whole crew is there. That way the gate agents know that they can start boarding with the right amount of crew and know that you are who you say you are. They check your ID and everything. So she just whizzed on by and they don't know who she is. She doesn't even have her uniform on yet. Now we see her going onto the jet bridge trying to get onto the plane, putting on her shoes, and we see passengers lined up on the jet bridge. This definitely is not true because we wouldn't start boarding those passengers unless the entire crew was on the plane. It's um, a safety violation. I love the name of the show, of the airline, Jackpot Airlines. <laughs> That's so cute. All right, we see two people at the front greeting, which is normally what we do. Sometimes one, sometimes two people will stand up there. Uh, then we see her here go on her cell phone and she's looking at her cell phone as boarding is taking place. That's a definite no-no. As a flight attendant, we're not supposed to have our cell phones with us while we're on duty. I love how during boarding, they are smiling and greeting passengers, but also carrying on a full-on conversation <laughs> with each other. And they're like, blah, 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 blah. hi, welcome aboard. <laughs> I will definitely say this does happen. We do still talk with each other and then as somebody new comes on, we're like, hi, welcome, but we're still kind of carrying on conversations with each other. That's so funny. They definitely hit that right on the spot. Then we see her here trying to accommodate a passenger who wants to sit in a particular seat. And as flight attendants, we definitely do try to accommodate, you know, families who want to sit together, couples who were by accident separated. But then she says, free beer to anybody who will switch with this guy. And that's definitely not something we would do. Then we cut to the flight deck scene here and they have a pair of dice hanging from, I'm assuming somewhere in the flight deck. I have absolutely, I've been in a lot of flight decks and I have never seen any personal items hanging from the flight deck. That is so cute, I do like that dice, but that I definitely don't think that would happen in real life. Right, we have them here doing the safety demo with the seat belts and there's two of them standing up at the front. Definitely we wouldn't have two flight attendants there. We would have one and then we'd space out a few rows down and we'd have another one. That way everybody sitting in the cabin gets an equal opportunity to see the safety demo taking place. Oh my gosh. We see the pilot come out of the flight deck and just go to grab a soda off the beverage cart. We would we have strict safety and security rules in place. We would never have a pilot just come out of the flight deck just unannounced and like grab stuff off the beverage cart. <laughs> All right, so here she quits mid-flight, which is fine. Hey, anybody can quit any job at any point in time, free will. 
but she grabs alcohol while she's still in her uniform and she goes and sits down in a passenger seat. <laughs> we definitely can't drink alcohol in uniform, so this is definitely would not happen in real life. <laughs> She's just sitting there taking shots. No, we cannot do this in real life. Now we see the actual captain of the flight come out of the flight deck just mingling with passengers. And so definitely there always has to be a certain number of people in the flight deck at any given point in time. So we wouldn't necessarily see the captain just out and about on the flight. The exception to this is international flights where there are more than the required amount of pilots in the flight deck. So one pilot can be out in the cabin either taking a break or um, in their little sleep quarters. But on just a regular domestic flight like this, you definitely wouldn't see the captain out of the flight deck just talking with passengers. <laughs> then he says, the planes fly themselves when a passenger says, you need to get back in the flight deck and fly the plane. <laughs> the planes don't fly themselves. They definitely still do need pilots. <laughs> Now they're trying to go into the bathroom and I guess attempt to join the Mile High Club and it is so funny. She's like, don't touch that with your hand. <laughs> so true, the bathrooms, it would be very, very hard to join the Mile High Club in the bathrooms. They are so tiny. We will leave it at that. And the captain is still on the flight deck and he's knocking on the door. So the flight ends, they land in Las Vegas and the crew and the, so the flight attendants and the flight deck are out and they're saying bye to passengers, which is true. This is exactly what we do, but I do think it's funny that the captain is wearing his sunglasses. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm of all the passengers when they're getting off the flight and they arrive in Vegas. And this is so true because I have flown the LA to Las Vegas route and when you're going, everybody's pumped, everyone's excited, Vegas, Vegas. And then when you fly back, it's a little bit of a different story. Now we see the captain sitting at the bar and it appears that he is drinking before his flight. And he says, oh, take one more for the road, wheels up in 10. Definitely as flight crew, flight attendants and pilots, you are not allowed to drink before a flight at all. So he says he's drinking club soda, so we're gonna believe him on this one. <laughs> I love it, everyone's just staring at him like, are you really drinking? I love it, he's abiding by the seatbelt rule. They said the seatbelt sign went off and he unclipped and got up. He waited though till the seatbelt sign went off. <laughs> this, this show is actually really funny. The captain is out of the flight deck again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she sees a passenger disturbance guys upset and she comes over and she tries to de-escalate the situation and this is absolutely right we're always taught this in training that you never want to escalate a situation you don't want to add you know more drama to something already going on you just try your best to de-escalate it and once we're on the ground everything can get figured out but in the air de-escalate here comes the captain to get out of the flight oh my All right, so at the end here, we see her, the flight attendant, sitting outside, waiting, I guess, for transportation to get home, and passenger comes out and starts talking to her. And this is true, you guys. I always see passengers from our plane, you know, waiting by baggage claim, and I walk by to like catch my Uber or Lyft. And so, and sometimes passengers that have been on my plane have come up and talked to me afterwards and just been like, oh, thank you, you guys were a great crew. So that's definitely accurate. Well, guys, that was actually a lot of fun. This is a really cute, silly little show. It was good to kind of let you guys know what's reality and what's not reality. <laughs> And if you guys like this video, please let me know so that I can do some more of these. I've got some really good ideas of some movies that I'd love to debunk with you. Guys, and don't forget, always be nice to your flight attendants. Bye!